What's up, future millionaires? It is Mike the Investor, and in today's content, we're going to talk about a relatively newer play to earn crypto project called Piccolo Inu, and they have said they're going to be a trading card type game. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say don't just go and buy this cryptocurrency. Now that you know the name of the project, please do your own due diligence because these videos are only for entertainment and educational purposes only. Now, besides the risks that come with newer projects, I'm going to share with you a few reasons on what caught my eye about Piccolo Inu towards the end of this video. Now, before we dive into it, definitely take advantage of grabbing some free Bitcoin by using the Voyager and BlockFi link in the description below. But enough talking, let's jump into it. All right, crypto investors, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're looking for a certain section in this video, check out the timestamps in the description below. But let's dive into the price chart of Piccolo Inu. And so as we can see here, the ticker symbol for this project is Pinu, P-I-N-U. And we can see here is the current price, 3327. And if we look at the current zeros currently left, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you look here briefly at the view more info, we can see how many for the total supply that we have, a hundred trillion. And so Let's go ahead and close that. And if you look at the total amount of holders, 13,854, so almost 14,000 holders. And this project is only a month old. So this project has definitely gained a lot of traction and has a very strong community. And so before we dive into any of the website and any of the use case of this project, let's dive into some of the few major things for as as security and safety of this project, which is the CERTIC audit and as well as the liquidity being locked. Let's check it out. And so here we have the CERTIC audit for Piccolo Inu. They have a 85 out of 100 security score. So that is still pretty good. And we can see the onboard was October 24th, 2021. And now when we look at the locked liquidity, they have 99.83% locked, which is definitely what we want to see for newer projects. And we can see we have the market cap here, which is about 36.8 million. And if we move to the far bottom, it's going to tell us how long the liquidity is locked, which they said this is a one year lock liquidity. And you can see right here has the countdown 339 days and 17 hours and 15 minutes. And then you can see the seconds are going as we speak. And so those are two major security things that we definitely want to see. And then one other thing I do want to briefly mention, they did do a live AMA as well on your pops uh, channel which has over a hundred thousand you know subscribers so a very strong channel and they did a live AMA and one of the uh, docs was uh, publicly docked so that does make me feel a little bit better as well about this project and so now let's kind of dive into the good stuff that you probably want to see what is Piccolo Inu and what is the use case of this project let's dive in so here we have it the Piccolo Inu website and it's just piccoloinu.com and as I already showed you the liquidity is locked 100% transparency and it is for one year the slippage is about 8 to 10 percent if you're looking to purchase it on Uniswap remember do your own due diligence this video is not for financial advice and so one thing I do like is that they've already been listed on a number of centralized exchanges not including the decentralized exchanges and here's a quick picture I saw on Twitter as you can see Bitmart BKX, Hotbit, L Bank, and these are all centralized exchanges. And then you have the decentralized exchanges, which is FegEx, Shiba Swap, and then you have Pinu Swap, which is their own personal decentralized exchange, which we will briefly talk about in a second. And so if we go back to the home page here, here's the Pinu Swap here. And so just to show you a picture on how that looks. Here is the Pinu swap. It pretty much looks like a Uniswap uh, user phase. And so if you hit the connect here, here are the five wallets that you can connect. So that is pretty cool. And that is one of the use cases of the Piccolo Inu project. So here's the about section here. And so as we move down to one of the major parts is the tokenomics. This project was launched October 22nd, 2021. Of course, it is an ERC-20 token. Here's the supply, 100 trillion, 7% for marketing and buybacks, 2% redistribution. So just for holding Piccolo Inu or the ticker symbol P-I-N-U, you will get 2% back, you know, based off of the transactions that is redistributed to all of the holders and then there's a 
9% total fee, which is made up of the 7% and 2%. And so as we move down just a little bit further, now we have the PINU staking, which is the second use case of this project. And if I move over here, this is kind of what the page will look like. Piccolo Inu staking, and you can see the current APR is about 87.84%, which is pretty good. Now, currently, there's only a MetaMask, you know, integration available. So hopefully, Trust Wallet becomes available here soon. If we go back to the Piccolo website, we move down. Here's the vision, and this brings us to now the other two parts of this project. So they have pretty much basically four use cases, the PINU swap, PINU staking, they have their NFT trading card game, and then they're gonna have an NFT marketplace also. And so as we move down, here's the PINU team. You got Sophia, Miriam, Max, and David. And so one thing I do like, their picture is on here, and then I believe it was Sophia who was on the live AMA with her picture publicly shown. And so for a newer project, this is definitely a plus, and it definitely gives holders a peace of mind when investing in newer projects. And here's just kind of a brief overview of the NFT marketplace, as you can see. Now they did say on that AMA, because I did listen to it because I wanted to get a better idea of what this project was and who to develop were they said these would just be for show and not for sale but they will have some that will actually be for sale which I think is pretty cool here's the roadmap as well which I'm not gonna you know go through all of this but you can check this out for yourself when you do your own due diligence and then this shows you kind of how to buy it and so in a nutshell that is what the Piccolo Inu project is it has four use cases and just to do a quick recap that is their staking ability their swap ability and they also have their blockchain game that's going to be a trading card game and then they have their nft marketplace and so this does stand very positive for the project also what has been able to accomplish in a short amount of time it has already been listed on four centralized exchanges and it doesn't even have 14,000 holders yet at the time of this video and so that is very positive and also with one of the developers being completely you know docs publicly that is also a plus as well the audit came back pretty good and so that's also a plus and so still keep in mind with newer projects there is a risk let alone the risk alone with investing in cryptocurrency so still just keep that in mind this video is strictly for educational purposes not for financial advice now let's get into the four reasons on what caught my eye about this project besides the risks that come with newer projects and so the first thing that caught my eye about piccolo inu is the theme behind this project i was a big fan of dragon ball z when i was a kid and i also played the game as well so this definitely resonated with me the second thing is the community behind this project as we can see it is very strong almost 14 thousand holders in about a month's time the third thing is is the use case of this project it has four different use cases which we took a look at and then last but not least is the success of this project that it's had in just a month's time so that is definitely bullish in my opinion now just to be transparent the two biggest cons for me will be one is still a newer project so it does have a lot to prove still and there's a lot of competition in the play to earn gaming sector and then secondly it could be a potential copyright potentially now this is not any type of fud but this is just something to be realistic about now just because of the noise that this project has already had it has been seen in new york and la i am sure that the creators of dragon ball z have heard of this crypto project with that being said if they have if it was a problem i believe they would have said something however that doesn't completely exclude everything but that would be probably the biggest you know thing that we have to worry about in the future would be a potential potential copyright however they have altered how things look so they're not using the exact design but they are using that same type of thing so I just want to be transparent about that and remember do your own due diligence before investing in any cryptocurrency now if you gain some value from this video most importantly definitely smash that like button but that is all I got for you remember to stay inspired stay motivated always invest in yourself and I'm out Thank you.